All right, so there is a story that has gone viral about a woman who has signed up to buy a 1998 Ford Escort for $289 a month for the next 84 months. But as bad as that decision was, if you have bought a brand new vehicle in the last 12 months, then you may have possibly made a worse financial decision than she has. My name is Brandon, I'm a used car dealer, and today I wanna to talk about her story, and I also wanna talk about the many, many other stories of bad financial decisions made by new car buyers in the last 12 months. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave us a question down in the comments. All right, so here's the story. There's a woman that went to a dealer lot, and she sees this 1998 Ford Escort that she wants to purchase. So. She cannot afford to actually buy this vehicle outright, so she agrees to make payments on this vehicle. So it's a 1998 Ford Escort, and she signs up to make payments of $289 a month for 84 months. That is, that's seven years that she's gonna pay on this 1998 Ford Escort. And that comes to a total, if she makes all of her payments, of $24,000. $276 that she's paying for this 1998 Ford Escort. So I know what you're thinking. How could anyone sign up for this kind of ridiculous deal? But hold on. Let's think about some of the buyers of the last 12 months of brand new vehicles. And let's run some numbers and see how far off their decision is from what this woman chose to do. All right, so let's pull in a real world example. I want to use the F-150. I've looked at a lot of their prices lately. I know what they're going for. I know what dealer adjustments they're putting on these vehicles. So there's been a chip shortage. There's been a lack of inventory for these F-150s. So when these dealers get them, they're putting a premium on them. So the MSRPs that I've seen on these bright, new, shiny, loaded up, um, F-150s is right around $72,000. That's, that's the MSRP. So we're going to take that down to 70 just to make these numbers easy. And what we're seeing a lot is that we're seeing dealer adjustments of $10,000, $20,000. I've seen even $35,000 dealer adjustments, these dealer markups that they're putting on these F-150s in the last 12 months. So what we're going to use for this example is we're going to have an MSRP, round number $70,000, and we're going to have a dealer adjustment of $20,000. So now you have a total of $90,000 that you're paying for this F-150. Now, let's say you bought this truck right in the middle of all the craze. It was right about 12 months ago, and it was just normal to go in and pay MSRP plus this dealer adjustment of $20,000. So now you fast forward a year from then, which is right now, and the value of your truck, the typical vehicle loses 20% in the first year of ownership. But remember, you didn't pay what the value of this truck should have been. You paid the extra dealer adjustment 12 months ago. So we have to take the value down by 20% off of not $90,000, but $70,000 because that's what the value of the truck was when it was new. So you're going to take that $14,000 off of that $70,000, which now gives you a total of what the truck is worth right now is $56,000. So we do 90,000 minus 56,000, and that gives us a total of $34,000. So now in 12 months, since you bought this bright, shiny new truck, you have now lost $34,000. Let's flip back to the story that we told at the beginning of this video. Let's say that this woman's car just completely evaporates, but she wants to continue paying for whatever reason, she pays it off. This woman has lost $24,000. In one year on this truck, you have lost $34,000. So dollar for dollar, in one year, you have actually lost more money on this new F-150, signing up for this new F-150, than this woman has lost on this terrible, terrible decision that she made buying this 1998 Ford Escort. So dollar for dollar, arguably, the F-150 customer actually made a financially worse decision than this woman who signed up to pay 
$24,000 for this 1998 Ford Escort. And this example that I'm giving you on this F-150 is not a rare example. If you have been looking at any of these brand new vehicles over the last 12 months, you know that they are dealer markups. There are dealer adjustments everywhere and people are paying them. Still to this day, I've been to Toyota dealerships, I've been to Ford dealerships, I've been to Dodge dealerships, I've been to Honda dealerships, looking at brand new cars just in the last few weeks and there are still dealer adjustments, dealer markups everywhere. And there are still people buying brand new cars and paying way over MSRP for them. And they are signing up for the exact same bad decision that this woman, what this looks like as a ridiculously bad decision. And it is. But all of these new car purchasers that are signing up for this over MSRP, they're doing the same exact thing. All right, so let's get back to this woman's story. So how does this even happen? How is this allowed to happen? So this lady, she got, from what I understand, her tax refund back, and she went to this dealer. And this is a 1998 Ford Escort. So this car is worth, even in the high market today, 1,500 bucks. That's all this car is worth. I would assume this dealer had $500 in this Ford Escort. So what probably happened is this lady got her tax refund check back and she was ready to buy a car. She probably went to a lot of other dealers looking at nicer cars than that Ford Escort and realized that she couldn't, she couldn't come up with the down payment, she didn't have enough money, or she didn't have enough money to make the payments because the payments were probably a lot more than $289 a month. They were probably $400, $500 a month, and she knew that she couldn't afford that. So she needed a car that she could get into. She didn't care what it was. She just needed to be able to make the monthly payments. So this dealer probably got from this woman the down payment of $500, which is what he had in the car, and she signed up for this contract that he wrote out for her to pay $289 a month what seems like forever, but for seven years. So, all right, um, let's let's break it down just a little bit. So this dealer gets a down payment of $500. He's now out of the car. He probably got exactly on the down payment what he paid for the car. And he knows that this vehicle, this 1998 Ford Escort, is not going to last seven years. So he doesn't care what happens to this car. He just knows that any money that he gets from this woman on a monthly basis, it's all just pure profit for him. And whenever she stops paying for it, whenever a car stops working, whenever something happens where she can't make a payment, he's just going to go and repo the car, get it back. And at that point, it's probably junk, so he's going to scrap it and get whatever money's worth. Um, but he doesn't care because he's already got his money back and he just wants her to keep paying as long as she can pay. And he has her on the hook basically just forever. And then eventually he's just going to get the car back. And the way that this, this woman, this customer gets locked into a deal like this is because she does not realize what she's signing up for. She knows that she needs a car and she knows that she's getting a car for $289 a month. She doesn't know how much it's going to cost in the total. She probably doesn't even know how much he's trying to sell her the car. All she sees is the payments. And when she sees that 289 payment and she knows I can make it for 289, she thinks that she can afford this car and she can ride for 289 a month and she can do that. Nothing else matters. So you as a consumer, how do you avoid putting yourself in this position like this poor woman has put herself in? Well, first, you need to know exactly what you're signing up for. Like I said earlier, this lady is signing up for $289 a month payments. That's what she thinks she's signing up for. She doesn't care about anything else. Read the contracts you're signing. You need to know exactly how much you're paying for a vehicle. You need to know the terms of the loan. You need to know what percentages you're paying. You need to know what happens if you miss a payment. You need to know worst case scenario, best case scenario. You pay this full loan, how much you're paying in full. So that is my biggest advice when you are shopping for a used vehicle and you know that you're going to have to sign up for payments. I don't recommend that. I would rather you save up some cash, buy a cheaper car that you can afford, and then you don't have to worry about payments at all. You own the car at that point. But if you are going the route where you have to sign up for a loan, just know exactly what you're signing up for. And that leads me to my next piece of advice. Do not shop 
for payments. You need to shop for a car and how much you can afford and know how much you're paying for the car. You don't need to go to a dealer and tell them, look, I can afford $300 a month. Look, I can afford $400 a month because then you're opening yourself up to be able to be put into a vehicle with a very long term. You're paying way too much money. You're paying way too much interest for something that's not going to be worth what you're eventually going to pay on this vehicle. So just definitely when you're looking for a car, don't go in with a budget of how much can I afford a month. You need to go into your negotiations, into looking for your vehicle on the full price of the car and know exactly what you're paying and making sure that you're getting a good deal, not only on your on the full value of the vehicle, but also what your payments are gonna be and how much interest you're going to be paying on this vehicle. But if you can avoid these buy here, pay here dealerships, the better you're going to be. I know that in the state that I am, that they can charge up to 25% interest on a vehicle. That is as bad as a credit card. And guess what? They're charging every point they can. So it's the worst place to go buy a car. I would not recommend it. Do not go to a buy here, pay here dealer if you can avoid it. Now, for the other situation that I talked about, the F-150 where someone paid way too much over MSRP for this truck. How do you avoid doing that? Well, that one's easy. Never pay over MSRP. Right now, you can find vehicles that are being sold on new car dealer lots and you can buy them for MSRP. Now, I will say, if you don't need a vehicle right now, don't buy one because prices are going to come down later on this year. But if you're in the camp where you have to buy a car and you're choosing to go buy a brand new car, I wouldn't recommend that either. I would rather you buy a used car and save yourself a little bit of money, a little bit of value. Because like I said earlier, once you buy a brand new vehicle, at the typical vehicle will lose 20% of its value in the first year of ownership. So you are setting money on fire typically when you're buying a brand new vehicle. So that is not my recommendation. I'd rather you search around, buy, you, buy yourself a good used vehicle for a good price. But like I said, how you avoid this, don't pay dealer markups, don't pay over MSRP when you're going to these new car dealerships. Know what you're signing up for just in the same case as this woman you can sign up for a bad loan at these new car dealerships. I would recommend if you are going that route and you are going to get a loan, go to your bank, go to a credit union, go get a good interest rate for this market from one of those banks as opposed to going to these dealerships because your banks are going to be able to work you a better rate than these dealerships. A lot of these dealerships will make money on getting finance for you but that also comes at a cost for paying a higher interest rate with them than you would be able to paying with a bank um, that you work with or a uh, or credit union that you can get signed up with. All right, so if you watch this video to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I do uh, tips like this all the time. We uh, look at news stories to be able to break them down from the perspective of a used car dealer. Um, please like this video and leave us a question down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for all the support and I uh, hope you have a great day.